John, I think in your own way you are really contributing to people's education and that is a totally crucial, critical, integral part of all of this. People can't get this information from the nightly news, they can't get the information from the daily newspapers. But you're, you've been making long-term efforts to get the message out to people. It, it must be frustrating for you at times, the amount of repetition re being required to repeat yourself so often. Yeah, hi. But it does take time to get the message through. And there's always, there's always new avenues to explore, new people to meet that you can start sharing the information with. It may simply take time, or as the case may be, quite a bit of time. Well, education is the most important factor because you've got, you've got to learn the lessons of history otherwise you're doomed to repeat it. Yes. And even the Bible says that people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yes. So it's all about education uh, and if it re requires repetition, I'll keep on repeating myself. I, as a dentist uh, for 41 years or 45 years, uh, I used to teach people how to brush their teeth. Over and over and over, <laughs> it's it. It, 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 it go, uh, not ad nauseum because uh, I was, felt I was doing something good by educating people. And so, what, what I want to do with these talking freedoms uh, seminars and so forth is to educate people uh, and ask that they step back and analyze. And uh, you've got to diagnose before you can treat. So, you've got to step back, have a uh, overview of the, the situation and decide what's right, what's wrong, and then work out a solution and put that solution into place. So the whole idea of uh, my website and the books and all, all those kind of things. I have, have a little T-shirt, uh, and uh, so the T-shirts clearly are, say. Are these available to the general public? Juries are us. Not at the moment. No, no. Not at the moment. I hope to do, but you can certainly get these little badges. Uh, juries are us. And what I say on the website is, show you no. Know. So simply by wearing a little badge, okay, that's a harmless little badge, but it carries the message. And you got it. And people ask me, what's that mean? It's a conversation starter. Yes. So you got to you got to talk, you have got to communicate, you have got to get together in our, our groups and so forth, and have, have not not just my meetings but other people. And so whatever the situation is, you have got to sit down and, and conference, and you have got to mediate, and, and so. And I have these it's a little cards which I've now started giving out. And, but if people want to obtain any of these items, such as the badges, or maybe even a copy, a hard copy of your book, Jackals of Slavery, that information will be on the new website. It's all there, yeah, Jews how, how to. You did previously have a website, uh, Rights and Wrongs. Yeah, but Rights that, and Wrong. Yeah. Rights and Wrong, and that is... Well, I, I, I don't know the first thing about computers, and actually the uh, uh, this, this book actually brought about the first uh, website because uh, I had a patient who was a, a photographer uh, and he actually turned out to be a, a, a web designer as well okay. and I was talking to Terry and I said, Terry said, what are you doing in the courts? So I said, uh, such that, and I've actually put out a book and he said, oh, well, what you want to do is have a website. I said, what's a website? And so we had a deal. Uh, I would do Terry's <laughs> dentistry and, and he put, set up the website and any, any articles I was just email to him and he would put it up. So he, Terry was responsible for the, the, the coming in, into being of the first website, but then Terry is a very nice bloke, but he had enough of Sydney, he said, I can't get away from the place quick enough. So he's scarped uh, in his living area. <laughs> And the new website will have things, it will uh, be an expansion on, on the previous website, so that the new website, juriesareus.com.au, will have things like our video interviews. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, uh, and, uh, and so that, that's the main modern communication, and it doesn't matter if you're in, in India or, or, or United States or whatever, people could just dial it up and take out what they want. Certainly, then, you, you, you have a worldwide platform, which is what the uh, internet is so useful for. Now, you did mention the issue of your background as a dentist. I was going to ask you, in addition to having video interviews on your new website, will you have things such as your written essays? And if so, will you have anything pertaining to 
not so much specifically dentistry, but the issue of fluoride in the water, because I believe you've got views and opinions on that very topic. Oh yeah, fluoride's a poison. And uh, at one stage I had an honorary research fellowship at London University uh, and I was uh, doing experiments in toxicology and so forth and uh, was mainly focused on mercury. So all these poisons are around and you know, one uh, half a teaspoon of fluoride you're dead. That's a schedule 7 poison you know, and it's, it's feeding into the and the population is, and the, the Russians have even said, oh, this, uh, this is a way we, uh, we uh, subdue our, the people in our gulags and so forth. So, with a lot of bromide or fluoride and so forth. So any, any poison at all, uh, you should avoid at all costs. And uh, so, yeah, I, I'm against any poison, whether it's mercury or fluoride, absolutely. Would you describe fluoride as uh, more of a poison or more of a sedative? What is the point or purpose of having it in the water if it's not beneficial? Well, the, the main component of psychotropic drugs is fluoride. Prozac's practically all fluoride. Do you know that? I didn't know Perhaps that. You'll you have a look at the formulation of all these psychotropic drugs. It's called fluoro, 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 fluoro. And those are for the layperson, those are what would commonly be described as uh, mood-altering antidepressants? Well, well, well uh, I don't know whether it's antidepressants, but it's, it's certainly uh, suppressing. Suppressing. Uh, rather, yeah. So, uh, it takes all the edge off the extremes, I suppose, by uh, slowing down the mind process to placating. To, yeah, oh, that's exactly the word I was going to use, to placate people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, are there any countries in the world that don't have fluoride in the water? You may not know, I certainly don't, but would you say this is a worldwide phenomenon of, of deliberately pumping fluoride into water supplies? There, there, of course, there would be parts of the world where there is actually no fresh running water, but then we certainly do have it in the first world. Well, I mean, you gain your knowledge, knowledge by doing your own research. You've obviously done uh, more on the ecosystems than I have, but uh, I do know that certain countries are actually taking fluoride out of the water to make it safer. So, yeah, but other ones are putting it in. So you, you've got to work out their intentions, because uh, as far as tooth decay and all this sort of thing, the, uh, sort of diet and hygiene and hereditary are far more important factors than adding a bit of... In fact, with fluoride, you, what I used to see was fluoride bombs. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where the tooth would all uh, suddenly implode, boom, you know, because, because the outer shell would be uh, acid resistant by having the fluoride in it, but the inside, the dentine, uh, uh, didn't take up the fluoride so much, so the inside would rot away, and you just have a shell, like an egg shell, and, it's, and you could crush. Uh, so the teeth would be brittle. They may yeah. they may look good on the surface, but inside tells a different story. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's just education and seeing the truth. The truth is the most important thing. Truth is the mother of justice, and this is why when you go to court, uh, you must tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And that's what I want to do in all my previous cases and all the cases coming up, because I intend to go back to court time and time again uh, until I achieve uh, fairness and truth. And this is what's been denied us in our own courts.